gold. Color chart happened because uh, I was asked to participate in this conference at Smith College that hooked up mathematicians with artists. And it put us together in a, in a big studio, in a think tank, just to kind of work with each other and see what would happen. And I didn't really know how to begin and how to work with a mathematician. And down the street from the studio we were all working in was an old junk shop. And I found this old yarn box that I really liked. And I thought, I wonder if I can start working with the mathematician who I had yet to meet by asking him if we can make a formula or an equation that describes this physical piece. And we ended up coming up with something very simple. And he happened to say, we're talking about our glasses. And he said, oh, I always have to wear these, these kinds of glasses because when I'm singing, I need to be able to read my music and also look up. And I said, oh, you sing? I said, well, let's take that formula that we made and let's translate it to music paper and let's make music with it and then you'll sing it. And so then we couldn't figure out what he should sing. Well, it just so happens on the box, there are written all the color names. So we use the color names as his libretto. Each color name has a number in front of it. We use those numbers to give us the ideas for how long each word will be sung. And then he sang it for our presentation. So I recorded him, then I made the piece with the box and two speakers with his voice, basically singing the piece. And my idea was sort of to make a static opera where the box becomes the set, it also becomes the performer in a way, and then the speakers are the music. 